sacred beings and welcome to the sacred jewel my name is jewel and we are a spiritual community growing together while on our sacred journeys first off i want to say i am still recovering from a head cold so if i sound extra funny today that is why and i do want to give a huge thank you to all the new subscribers welcome thank you thank you um, at the end of this video, I am going to be telling you <clears throat> more about the giveaway that I mentioned once we reach 500 subscribers, which is only 100 subscribers away. So if you want to know about a giveaway I'll be doing for that, and then a second giveaway once we hit 1,000, then stay tuned to the end of the video. And also, at the end of the video, I will be telling you what will you can expect in the next couple of videos from me. I know I have a bunch of requests that I haven't gotten to yet. Um, this one today is a request, so thank you for your patience. I'm super excited to talk about this, and it's much needed because one of my most popular videos is the Starseed uh, Find Out what star seed you are, what your home planet is. Um, and now a lot of people are like, okay, I know what star seed I am, but what do I do now? Like, what is my purpose? What's my mission? I have awakened, but what do I need to do to like follow that path? So today that's what we're going to talk about. And I'm going to give you four extremely helpful tips to help you figure out exactly what your mission is and what you can do to fulfill your purpose on earth. So Let's get into the video. I don't Okay, so what is a starseed awakening? So I want to share my video about my spiritual awakening, which I feel like spiritual awakening, starseed awakening is very similar. Um, so definitely stay tuned for my spiritual awakening, but I also am a starseed. Um, I will get into that. So what is a starseed awakening? So like any spiritual awakening, a starseed awakening is the time frame during which the starseed finds a new purpose in their life to continue on their path and fulfill their duties to this world. So very straightforward. <laughs> so there are a lot of things online where you can look up what are signs that you've had your starseed awakening. So I highly and recommend going to this website. I will put the link in, in the description, um, but it's 50 clear signs that you're a star seed and what to do if you are one from the spirit nomad. So the spirit Um, she gives a lot of great information and she also talks about her personal awakening on there. And she also recommends, um, Betty, I thought I had, Oh, Betty Kotofsky. I hope I said that right. Um, who helps star seeds on their healing journey, helps activate them. And she also works with twin flames. So if you want to check out that stuff, I'll put it down below. Um, other than that recommendation, I also recommend if you are an awakening star seed and you want to know what's next, um, there's this website. It's at <clears throat> nomad rs.com slash starseed dash awakening and it looks like this and they give you everything you need to know so a complete guide <clears throat> and I didn't use any info from this article so after this if you want to learn a little bit more that might be helpful for you but I didn't include any of that into this video so that's just an extra little bonus there <clears throat> So the main purpose of a starseed is to serve humanity at this time of ascension with your unique gifts and wisdom. So I know a lot of you might be like, well, what are my gifts? Um, <laughs> what is this wisdom I'm supposed to have? So today we're going to dive deep into your specific unique gifts and talents and how to locate that information and then what to do after you know your purpose. <laughs> so... Your mission will look uh, different from starseed to starseed, but it always involves spreading uh, your light to humanity in your own unique way. So you can also be a light worker starseed, which I feel like I'm a light worker too, and I did a video on that. Um, I'll link it above here where you can find out uh, in your birth chart if you're a light worker. So that was fun too, but it could look unique for everybody. So your mission could be creating art, blogging. So similar to what I'm doing, like sharing information online with you guys, uh, you can work in the healing arts. So Reiki, or even in the medical field, healing yourself or others, it could be cooking. So sharing your light through spreading food because food makes everybody happy. <laughs> it could be writing making music and like the list goes on and on of what your unique gift could be. So Let's get into the four major tips. This is going to help you discover your mission. So the first one, and this was so much fun. So I 
probably if you guys are watching my channel, you are into numerology and you can take that numerology test, um, which I did a long time ago where you just add in your, you know, your birth date and you add up all the numbers and you get a final number. So I did that and then I would search online, like what does number five mean? But this is totally different. So you want to go to this website. Um, it's video.numerologist.com. And this is what it's going to look like when you get there. And you just type in all your info. And it's totally free. And once you get in there, it's like they talk to you. It's a beautiful screen on your phone or your laptop. Very like spacey and magical. And it's, it's like, hello, Jewel. I'm glad you're here. And it gets very deep into what your, they talk about your life path mission, your expression number, and your soul urge. So they talk about three of your numbers. And if you're curious, mine is 566. Six, and that really helps you find out like what your mission is on earth, like what you'd be good at doing. So I recommend doing that after this video. It's super fun. I definitely share below what your numbers are. I'm super interested to know. Second point is take my star seed, figure out if you don't know what star seed you are, which you should know by now if you're watching this video. But if you don't, go back to my previous video, figure out which star seed you are. Um, and obviously, you know which star seed you are because you feel it in your heart. It's you don't have to have somebody tell you you are. You don't have to have any of those markings in your chart, your chart, your chart, <laughs> in your chart to tell you you're a star seed. If you think you are and you feel you are and you connect and resonate with what the meaning of that star seed is, then you are one. It's as simple as that. So, but the tip to find out your mission is super simple. You just Google um, what your mission is. So I'm going to do a couple examples. So if you align with an Palladian star seed, you just Google Palladian star seed mission and it's going to show you. So right here, da 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 da. 12, 21 major signs, missions, and more. So, of course, it says you're a beautiful soul. Um, all right, so this is what I found online just by going to Google. I'm pretty sure I clicked that typically topical. And right away, it says you're here to perform a beautiful mission. And it's as simple as healing and uplifting humanity um, to get them ready for the golden age, um, which is meant to start in 2032 which is debated because I feel like it's going on right now. <laughs> but anyways, your main mission is to heal and uplift humanity if you're a Palladian. And <clears throat> we're going to get into how to do that. So that's what's coming. And I'm super excited. Another example, if you're an Orion starseed, just Google Orion starseed. And it will show you here right on the Google. It says help improve civilization's knowledge in the fields of science, dot, dot, dot. So it says you have a double mission if you are um, an Orion your general purpose is to help improve civilization's knowledge. So in science, medicine, technology, and then also help people align with their true source of power. So help people align with their higher self. That is super magical. So we'll get into how exactly you can spread knowledge and help people align with their higher self. And then lastly, another example is my star planet, which I still can't say it right because I even, I even looked on YouTube, how to pronounce things, which you might be very impressed by another um, pronunciation coming up here that I worked on. <laughs> but my own home planet, I don't know if it's Iridanian, Iridanian. I don't know. But anyways, Google them. <laughs> and right away, it says your mission is to negate mind control and corruption. And then <clears throat> I really liked this. I don't like using um, Cora because people can put whatever they want on there. But this I found super interesting and I never find a lot of information from my home planet. So right here it says on Quora, um, so it feels like their mission is to debunk all lies, cover-ups, and misleading information and misconceptions. Um, so defend the truth relentlessly. And this goes on and on for my um, Starseed family. <laughs> You feel like your duty is to provide people um, like with knowledge and there's another one here. So express past life memories through art. Um, so we'd make good artists, writers, therapists, divine in partners. And then lastly, I liked how it said um, here that also one of their missions is to spread knowledge about the Greek gods and Greek pagan mythology 
uh, but to sp spread the truth. So that's going to be another topic um, that I will share at the end of this video. But I do want to link the reference to Quora, that info off of there she got from uh, Lyra by, oh, sorry, Eva Marquez. So this is the credit and it says you cannot share this info unless you credit her, which I was going to do in my description, but I just wanted to do it on here real quick. So definitely check out um, this information by this woman, which if you want to know more about Centaurians, uh, Iridanians, and Lyra's. Okay. okay, let's get into tip number three, which sounds like a super easy one, but it's going to be extremely helpful to find out um, your mission. <laughs> so you want to think back to when you were a child, a wee little lad, <laughs> and find and remember what made you happy, like what brought you joy when you were a child and you didn't have society and social media telling you what was the right thing to do or not. Um, so yeah, think back to when... What you enjoyed doing. For example, I, when I was a kid, I was always alone outside picking up rocks and like looking underneath the rocks for little bugs and creatures. And I would walk through the woods and follow the trails and just get lost and look for animals. So that really brought me a lot of joy as a kid. And then also writing. When I got a little bit older, like in my teens, I would write like lyrics to songs, like try to make up poems and sing, even though I'm a horrible singer. Um, but I always had the thought to write a book and stuff. So that's still always in the back of my mind. So think back to when you were a kid, what brought you joy? That's tip three. And lastly, tip number four, which I think is the most important and it go it's a lot more in depth. So get ready. Um, maybe take some notes on this, <laughs> but Tip four is to find out what your strengths and weaknesses are. So what are your talents? And a lot of people are like, I don't have any talents. And I think that too sometimes. So the way to find out your, um, one of the ways to find out your strengths and weaknesses is to look at your birth chart. And this is important to know your strengths and weaknesses because it speeds up your process of starting your mission and being active and actively supporting your or supporting humanity and fulfilling your purpose. So this is extremely important. Um, I do want to say the numerology test does help pinpoint your strengths and weaknesses. So you'll see that if you do the test, they do um, hint on what you'd be good at and what uh, to avoid. I also believe getting the full report costs money. I didn't pay anything. I did not put my email in, um, but I got the top three numbers. So if you want more info, it's up to you if you want to pay for it. But just in the free stuff, you'll get little hints of your weaknesses and strengths. Um, but more import importantly, so this is what you want to do to find your weaknesses and strengths. You need to get your birth chart. So really fast, if you don't know how to get your birth chart, go to astrocharts. What is it? Astro-charts.com. Type in all your info. Um, just like you did in my first star seed video to find out which star seed you are. So go there and you want to look where Chiron, Chiron, that's how you say it guys, Chiron. I even put the pronunciation to learn it and not Chiron or Chiron, like I was saying. <laughs> but anyways, where is Chiron in your chart? So this is what you want to look for um, in your chart. So mine is Leo. Uh, so th once you know where chat Chiron <laughs> is in your chart, all you want to do is Google it. So, and you want to Google weakness. So Chiron and Leo weakness. And right away, I clicked on the mind, body, and green at the top. I, you just pick random ones and you'll learn the process of re researching. You just read around until you find what you're looking for. So I highly recommend using this website because it shows you your wounds and healing gifts. So Chiron in Leo, right here it says your wounds, so it's which would be my weakness. So a need for validation, presenting a fa false front, addiction to drama and intensity, romance and love addiction. So that is some little hints on what my weaknesses are. Um, we'll get more into my weaknesses. Yay. <laughs> so, but then it shows your healing gifts, which are your strengths. So I would be good at empowering others through authentic self-expression. So by being myself, being playful, um, using the arts to uplift and spread a positive message. So super good website to find out your weeks, strengths, weaknesses. You also want to look at where is Chiron in your house, if you have it in your house. So go back to astro-charts, 
scroll all the way down and it will look like this. And mine, I have it in my 12th house. So you would go back to mind, body, and green and look at your wounds. So 12th house, I have my weakness is I don't set, I don't set boundaries. So I let people walk all over me. Escapism. So I want to like escape the reality, which is true sometimes. <laughs> and yeah, denial, not living in reality. So when I go into my spiritual awakening, we will talk all about how I did not connect with reality. <laughs> um, but then also it shows your healing gifts and talents. So helping people let go of their limiting beliefs, spiritual leadership, psychic powers, helping people live out their fantasies. So all great talents right there. So another thing you want to look for is, so let's focus more on your houses. So, so I want to give a quick shout out to my YouTube friend, um, Visceral Spirit. She is amazing. She did a review on my Sarsi video. So definitely go check her out on YouTube. But she was so nice and she sent me, I hope it's okay to share this if you're watching this. Hi, Maria. <laughs> but she sent me this super helpful, what, um, like short descriptions of what each house means. So if you want to screenshot this, uh, go ahead to use it in your own, um, studies. But there's not a specific one that says weaknesses and strength. So I just picked out a few that I thought might be helpful. Um, so including the first house, which I didn't know your first house is your rising, like your ascending sign, your, your rising ascendant. Cause I'm a Leo rising. And then I learned that, which probably everybody who does astrology and, you know, reading charts knows, but I just learned that. So <laughs> first house, which is also your rising sign, you want to Google it because this is going to talk about yourself and your personality to find out what your strengths and weaknesses are to figure out your mission. So just Google first house and Leo mean meaning. And right away I see a weakness. Mine says I'm going to have a ego battle and it's so true. It's so true. <laughs> we'll get into that later. <laughs> um, so right away it shows that uh, weakness. But I just scroll down and then you'll see right here, great at leading others. Should be somewhere here. Just on YouTube. I didn't really click on anything at first. So I saw a uh, strength and a weakness right away. But then I did click on dream astro meanings at the bottom there dot com. And I read that I didn't screenshot this, but I read that life is a path of self-discovery and fate will bring possibilities to express my talents and gifts by discovering my deepest self. So really, it's just saying all I need to do is discover my deepest self. Then I will have the possibility to share those gifts and talents. So just do this is super easy to find this kind of stuff and go really deep into figuring out more about yourself. So you also want to look at if you have planets in your first house. So go look at your house's chart. And here I show that I have Jupiter. I think I have a couple in my, oh yeah, I have Jupiter in my first house. So from there you want to just Google Jupiter in first house. And so I was drawn to that first one there, gain, gainshaspeaks.com. <laughs> so when I clicked on it, I highly recommend using this website because it shows you positive traits and impacts and then negative traits and impacts and then a conclusion. So it gives you basically flat out your strengths and weaknesses. So there's a lot of info. This is where you want to go to read about yourself. Um, but look at the conclusion because it will say right here, you will be wise and spiritual. You will be enlightened, which we'll get into that in another video. You will also possess lots of positivity and enthusiasm. You can have a rich personality if you work towards it. However, you need to be cautious with your dealing with others. So there's a lot of good info on this website to learn about your strengths and weaknesses. Um, I So you just want to keep doing this and look at all of your houses that you feel important. So back to the chart here. Um, so the fifth house, or sorry, the 11th house talks about sharing gifts and community. So gifts, your talents, your talents. Uh, fifth house talks about hobbies, self-employment. So those I thought would be good to look at uh, if you want to learn more. So for example, go to your chart and I have, um, fifth, my fifth house is in Sagittarius. So really quick, I Googled fifth house in Sagittarius and I see person who has a great love for travel and I travel full time in my RV, um, and philo philosophy, teaching, education. So that is super cool. Um, I didn't even click on anything. I just read that right there. And then I kept going and I looked up uh, Uranus um, in fifth house and 
I clicked on the astro, oh no, sorry, astrologyk.com, highly recommend them. Um, and that told me um, that I have unique talents, gifts, abilities. Um, and then lastly, I looked up Neptune and fifth house. And right away, it says that I would be a great storyteller, uh, have great imagination. So yeah, oh, and it says here in the fifth house, ability to change the world. So, or believe you could change the world <laughs> one step at a time. So yeah, that's all you really need to do to find out your strengths and weaknesses. And once you know that, then you you find your strengths and weaknesses. You put that together which with what brings you joy. So when you were a child, um, take the numerology test, Google more about your star seed, and you will find out what your, how you can incorporate your unique gifts and talents into the world in your own unique way to help rise, raise consciousness. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. So if you made it this far, um, please subscribe and please like this video. But let's talk about the giveaway. So I'm going to be doing a giveaway at 500 uh, followers or subscribers. And I'm it's completely free. I'm going to ship to you a couple items from my store, my Etsy shop, the Sacred Jewel shop. Um, the link's below and it's on like the homepage on YouTube if you want to look at it. But I'm going to send you a couple items from my shop as a thank you and um, some crystals from my collection. And then at 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away one of my personal um, tarot decks, so tarot cards, and then a book, I believe. So we'll let, I'll let you know more about what's in the giveaway once we get there um, and how the giveaway is going to work. But I'm super excited for that, so please share to your friends if you think they would like this content, and then they have a chance to entering the free giveaway. So what you can expect next in this channel... Um, my next topic is going to be, so we've had requests to talk about more on the witchcraft side. So symbols, symbols, deities, gods and goddesses, sigils. So those are going to be the next upcoming um, topics. And there's a lot more. When one of my previous ones, I shared everything you can expect. I believe it was right at in January. I posted a video of the new year, what to expect. But yeah, that's what's to come. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have you hope I hope you have a great rest of the day and see you next time. Bye. <laughs>